So here we go then. Welcome to another Lone Watch Insight video. And today I'm joined by James from the ME7 podcast covering all things Gillingham. And we're going to get some insight on Alcum Baggett, who of course is on loan with them in League Two. Uh, James, first of all, thanks for joining me. How are you doing? Yeah, no problem. Um, as good as I could be. Um, it's probably it's probably come at the right time for us not to play this afternoon. <laughs> um, we're not scoring that many goals. Um, we're not keeping them out in the net either. So um, it was probably a welcome that we're not going to call this afternoon, even though, believe it or not, they are actually below us. So um, we, we, we probably missed the trick. <laughs> Yeah, mate. It's um, when I was doing some research for for Alcon and looking at Gillingham in League Two. Of course, you guys now back in League Two, unfortunately after relegation last year. And Neil Harris, you know, f- f- you know, twenty first in the league. Um, it's been an interesting grounding for probably for about um Alcon Bagger. And I want to get your thoughts on him signing first of all in the summer because you know he hasn't really played much first team football at Town. He had a loan spell at Kings Lynn and National League a season prior to that. Um, so what was your first thoughts when he signed? Yeah, it was an interesting one because um, you you don't often see um, players getting getting signed from on loan, certainly from the level above. Um, you often see that if they if they're getting if they're getting loaned into into a League Two football club, it's usually from from a Premier League team um, or or a, a top Championship side. Usually, you get their under twenty three. So it was quite interesting that we went for a for a centre half from a from a top league one one club like yourself, um, and and it and then when we looked into it, um, obviously the responses once well once Elkin kind had of signed, um, the responses from from you, you guys was was that he, he is a, a top quality centre half and, and one day will be will be in your first team, um, and and we're starting to see that now we're starting to see that for, uh, that that come to fruition, um, even though he's. We are twenty first in League Two at the moment. Um, he's been one of the shining lights so far this season. Um, he, he, yeah, he, he's been, he's uh, f- f- for a for a nineteen year old, nineteen year old boy. He, he's been playing like he's twenty five, twenty six, and and certainly been one of the standouts. Yeah, he's definitely a plan for the future for for town. Of course, he signed a new deal before going out on loan to you guys, and you know. You are transitioning into a League Two season, Neil Harris. You said off air, you know, you had to get rid of a lot of players and brought a lot of new players in. Um, how has he been overall? You know, I know he's twenty first in the league, but you know, he's got a clean sheet on his home debut. He's had a few clean sheets here and there as well. I know it's not been on paper; he doesn't look great. But how has he been overall? Yeah, good. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I think the first couple of games, he was you, you could see that he was new to league football. Um, you, you could see that he was a little bit nervous and 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 wasn't quite sure how it was going to go because obviously he was he was he was at Kingsley the year before and the national league and, and league football are two different kettles of fish um and he struggled on on opening day um at Wimbledon him and him and Max Amo, who's our, our our other center half were were quite frankly bullied by by the Wimbledon front line um and then and then he progressed a little bit, a little bit more, um, and started started using the ball a bit, a little bit more because Neil Harris's philosophy is that he wants his centre half and his defences to pl- to play, and that obviously suits Elton's game. Um, and then we went up to Tramere where we got beat three 0 and 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 one of the goals was his fault. Um, he got he got just thrown off the ball, um, and 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 the striker put it into the net and. And then we were like, oh, okay. Um, but then after that, he some something must have been said to him because he's been outstanding. Uh, uh, after that point, um, the last four or five games, he's been he's been absolutely brilliant. Um, meeting the ball, meeting the ball before the striker, um, physically stepped up. Um, he isn't afraid to carry the ball out of defence. He will play risky passes. Um, he's confident on the ball. Um, he, if he's got a, a striker coming towards him, he's more than happy to take it under pressure and take it, uh, take it past him or out from defence or receive it off the goalkeeper. Um, aerially, he's improved over the games as well. Um, very uh, aerially, very good, um, and becoming stronger week in week out. And and certainly out out, even though we are twenty first, it, it seems strange that you're talking up a, a defender, but out of out of 
all of the defenders that we've got, he's definitely been one of the, sh the shining lights, definitely. Yeah, you cover a lot of his, you know, things you like about him. What is his main strengths? And I'm looking at the table, you know, you've only conceded eight goals. You've scored just one, which is not great. But, you know, you haven't conceded so many in terms of yeah. you know other teams around you as well. So, you know, clean sheets here and there. And he's got a few yellow cards. But um, overall, what's his main strengths you're liking? Yeah, um, I, I think it's down to the fact that obviously Neil has changed um, from from a back two to a back three, um, which um, which allows Elkin to to play through play through strengths a little bit more because it allows um, Elkin to to be that bit more of a risk taker, which he, he he's good he, he's good at doing, um, meaning that he can get the ball off Glenn Morris, our goalkeeper, and. Um, and take it out of defence and, and not have to worry that he's playing in a two and has that extra protection. Um, so I think certainly playing the back three, we've seen more of a confident Elkin come out come out rather than playing in a two where he has to worry about his partner. Um, but I, I think I think that is that is why we've kept the clean sheets and and I think to be honest, Ross, it is our defensive our defensive. Uh, players aren't aren't our worry in our team at the moment. It, it, it's it's down to the fact that we are surely not scoring enough goals. You've said it there. We've only conceded eight goals. If you if you look at it from a, a perspective, uh, a team in twenty first, you look at it and go, well, how the hell are you twenty first only conceding eight goals? But the fact is, it, it, it isn't really the, the defensive players' fault. It, we're solely not scoring enough goals, and that's that's our problem. But Elkin has been. Certainly, in terms of new summer recruits, um, one of one of the shining lights. That's good to hear. And um, yeah, we, we we highly rate him at the football club. Uh, Nineteen years of age, he's still got a lot to grow. And um, what's the things he needs to work on? Still, you know, his first sort of taste of league football. He made a few appearances last year at the back end of last year in League One for us and uh, played really well. But we knew he was going to need to go out on loan to get some experience. And uh, what do you think he needs to work on still? Yeah, I think. Um, I think we've noticed it in some some of the weeks where he comes up against a more clever forward and and they've got a bit more of a clever movement or they're a little bit stronger than he is and they like to back into him and and pin him. That's probably where he just needs to be a little bit stronger and a little bit cleverer. And I think that's where um where he's where he's weak not his weaknesses but his areas to improve probably do lie is that he just needs to be a little bit more clever in his decision making. Um, he just needs to be a little bit more physical. Um, when he comes up against those bigger forwards, um, sometimes in some games there'll be a clever forward that comes up against him and they'll run off him, run him behind, and and or, or they'll meet the ball first, or they'll pin it, pin pin him back, and <clears throat> they'll they'll um, they'll hold up the ball and he, he isn't quite strong enough or being clever enough to nick the ball in front of him or or be strong enough to just nick it in behind, um, and that's probably where where come. That where that comes from, he's run of games and he's run of games in the football league where he will come up against all different types of forwards and and if he can if he can sort out that decision making where he he can read the game a little bit uh, just a little bit quicker um, or he can just be that little bit stronger um, which I'm sure he will be. I have no doubt that in the next few years, Rossi he will be an Ipswich Town starting centre half. No, no doubt. Definitely some great insight from you, James. And uh, I want to quickly, just before we end the video, and, um, you know, you had a very good experience last weekend. Of course, you guys, a nil-nil draw of Swindon, you were 10 men for pretty much most of the game. You know, you, one of your players got 10, sent off in the 10th minute. Um, so I'm sure that must have been an interesting day for Alcon and co. Um, how did he sort of get on with that? They were excellent. I think um, the, it, it was probably one of our best best, best performances of the season defensively. Um our on loan right back or centre half, um, Hadji Minogue from Portsmouth. Um, he signed on deadline day and and he had the worst debut you could possibly have. Um, he, he his first yellow card was just stupid. He, the the, um, the 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 Swindon forward was was going nowhere. Um, and the second the, the second yellow yellow card was even worse. I don't know if you if you've managed to see it, but um, he. He, he just he, he, he's going nowhere, and he decides to take him out. Um, but I thought the the um, with, um, Hakib Hakib Adelakun, who we've who we've gone on on signed on loan from Lincoln, um, had to had to come come in a, a right back. So he ended up being um, <clears throat> a back four of Hakib, um, Max Amar, Elkin, 
and Ryan Law and and them four all afternoon for 80 minutes were absolutely outstanding. Every single ball that was thrown into the box, every single block, every single tackle, everything they had to do, they were absolutely outstanding. And one of one of the performances that one of the best perfor- defensive performances we've seen in a number of years at, Pri- at Priestfield for for sure, they were absolutely brilliant. Um, and we had we nearly had a couple of chances to to, to nick it as well. So. Um, yeah, and and that showed El, uh, in terms of uh, a personnel performance from a ten men Elkin side of it. Um, that showed a different side to the game where you have to dig in. This is about the, this is about the team now. It's not about an individual performance. And and he he, he dug right in. He stuck with his teammates. Um, and he was him and him and um, the other the other Jules boys were absolutely outstanding sat, last Saturday afternoon. Um, couldn't fault them at all. That's good to hear. And um, sort of the final word to say, James, thanks for joining me. It's been a pleasure. No worries. Um, of course, he's got a big following, Alkin, with Indonesian fans. He's got a million um, followers on Instagram, and I'm sure you see fluxes of messages on every stuff they do on Alkin. Um, as a whole, um, have you been happy with him so far? And, you know, hopefully it'll be a good season. Hopefully you guys will, you know, have a good start, you know, the rest of the season. Hopefully, you know, won't be down at the bottom for the rest of the season. Yeah, um, yeah, I'm more than happy with him. I think, um, yeah, like we were, we were all a little bit apprehensive when Elkin first signed because, like I said earlier, we weren't too sure what we what we were getting. Um, you don't often sign um, defenders from the league above on or certainly on a on a long season loan deal. Um, but he's like I said to you earlier, Ross. He's been one of the shining lights in a in quite a, a deflated um, season. So. Um, he just needs to keep doing what he's doing. Um, the more games that he plays, the more experience he's going to gain, the better he becomes. Um, and and I hope that once um, he plays the rest of the season for us, he, he goes back to it, switch and, and has a fair crack. I think you often see it, Ross, don't you, that they have that long season loan deal. They go back to their parent club and then they sit on the bench again. And then it's it, it's a bit of a weird one, isn't it? Because what was the whole point of that loan deal? Um, and so I think it's really, really important that if Elkin does continue how he's going, he does go back to you guys and plays regular football. And if he doesn't, then he needs to maybe look at look at what his options are. But I'm really happy with him at the moment. He needs to just continue what he's doing. Um, and hopefully he can play a part in in what uh, hopefully the rest of the season could just be just be a little bit more calmer. <laughs> Definitely, man. Hopefully a nice bullet header here and there. A few goals from set piece. Yeah, I'm sure it'll be good to, to add to his game. And, uh, yeah. and yeah, I'm sure we'll catch up um, later in the season because it'll be good to know yeah. more about him throughout the season. Hopefully you guys yeah. will be in a better position. But, um, James, thanks for joining me, my friend. No worries. All the best. Oh, man. Well, well, thanks, everyone, for watching as well. Let us know your thoughts as well. If any other Gillingham fans watching, let us know your thoughts on Elkins so far. See you next time. Bye-bye for now.